Hello there. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Terraform to quickly set up a Jenkins server in AWS. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First, I'd like to call out some general prerequisites. You need to make sure that Terraform is installed on your local machine, preferably one of the latest versions of Terraform. You also need an AWS account, corresponding IAM privileges, an SSH key pair so that you can connect to your EC2 instance, and finally, AWS CLI credentials for programmatic access. Next, Jenkins itself has some prerequisites too. It needs Java version 8 or 11, and by default, the Jenkins UI listens on port 8080. With prerequisites behind us, let's take a look at the Terraform working directory. At minimum, you will need at least three files in your Terraform working directory. The first one is Jenkins.tf, and this is the main Terraform configuration file. The next one is wars.tf, and this is where you will define all of your input variables. The last one is userdata.sh, and this is a simple shell script that includes all the steps for installing Jenkins. Let's go ahead and take a look at each of these files in a little bit more detail. Let's start with the user data script. Now this script includes all the installation steps for Jenkins. If you recall, Java is a prerequisite for installing Jenkins, so this script includes installing OpenJDK 8, and it uses the apt package manager to install Jenkins on an Ubuntu server. The next file is vars.tf. It is a best practice to define all the input variables rather than hard coding these at multiple places in the Terraform configuration file. As you can see, there are three variables that have been defined in this file. The first one is AWS region, and by default, it is set to US East 1. And this could be set to any region that's closest to you. The next variable is SSH key name. And this is the SSH key that you will use to connect to your EC2 instance. The last variable is instance type. By default, it is set to t2.medium. And this could be set to any instance type of your choice. And the last file is Jenkins.tf which is the main Terraform configuration file. And it includes a couple of top-level blocks. And let's take a look at each of these in a little bit more detail. The first one is the provider block. And in here, we have specified the provider, in this case, AWS, and then the region. And this is already defined in the vars.tf file. The next resource block is for creating a security group. As you can see, we are creating an AWS security group called Jenkins SG, and we are allowing two ports, port 8080, which is required by Jenkins, and another port, which is the default SSH port. And this security group will be created in the default VPC. Next is the data block. Rather than hard coding the AMI, we will use the data block to retrieve the most recent Ubuntu 18.04 AMI for us. Next is the resource block for creating the EC2 instance. In here, we specify the instance type, the AMI, the security group ID, and then the SSH key name. We are also adding a tag, Terraform Jenkins master, and finally, the user data script to install Jenkins. The last one is the output block, and as part of the output block, we'll just output the Jenkins URL. Putting all these together, I have all the required files in my Terraform working directory. Notice that I have one extra file, which is the terraform.tfwars file, and in there, I've just specified my SSH key name. Now it's time to see things in action. I'll start by running Terraform init to initialize my working directory.
Next, I'll run Terraform Apply. I will say yes. As you can see, it's creating the security group and then the Jenkins EC2 instance. And now we have the Jenkins URL. Let me copy the URL and try it on a browser. Okay, let's paste the URL on a browser and see if Jenkins URL comes up. And as you can see, the first screen that you see is the Jenkins post installation wizard. This means that you have successfully installed Jenkins using Terraform. If you're interested, please feel free to fork this GitHub repository It has all the files that you need to quickly spin up a Jenkins instance in AWS using Terraform. This concludes the demonstration. I hope you found it useful. I'll be doing more on Terraform, so stay tuned and thank you for watching.